we will now see audacity normalization in proper way if you know already about audacity normalization you may be wondering what is the proper way let me show you that by an example i will apply normalization to this audio clip before doing that i will make a duplicate of this i will rename it to original i want to apply normalization in this file I'll select it and then go to effect normalize and now I will set this value I will show you how to find out the peak amplitude value for this example let's say one okay you see that the graph changed a bit you see the value increased a bit but not very much only the top grow a little bit but the other part is quite the same problem here is this peaks this peaks has a quite higher value that's why all other audio clip have not rise to its level solution of this is to apply a limiter i'll undo this and i'll make a duplicate again i will rename it to limiter to apply limiter select the file and then go to effect limiter you will find limiter a bit down if you do not find limiter check the plugin is activated in limiter you can set the limit type like hard limit or soft limit i suggest not to using the clip because the clip add some distortion to the audio but if you use limit and the and the limit limits the peak amplitude so you won't feel the distortion difference between hard limit and soft limit is the hard limit only applies on the peak and the soft limit gradually decreases that i want to keep the other part as it is only the peak should be decreased so i select hard limit and the limit value can be from minus 10 to 0 i will choose minus 10 but you can experiment if you need more than that you see when i have used the minus 10 the top part of this too much peak areas is gone do not worry about any kind of uh, distortion in these places limiting in this way actually do not affect on the quality of the audio because those high peaks are already affecting all the audio but using limit in this way you improve the overall quality of the audio and now let's apply the normalization now you see that everything has increased evenly so that is the proper way to normalize so first apply a limiter and then normalize now let's see how to choose the peak amplitude Peak amplitude should be set in a way so that the playback meter remains into minus 12 to minus 6 most of the time. If I set minus 1 for this audio, let's see what happens. You see the playback meter is crossing 6 and it is in the red region. So minus 1 should not be amplitude for this one. Let's try another value. I will set minus 3 now. It is still high for this audio because the actual audio level is quite high for this audio. So minus 5 is the recommended value for this audio. Let's now hear the original one and the modified one so you can understand the difference better. This is my sample to check normalization. This is my sample to check normalization. So you see first applying the limiter and then the normalize help to get a evenly distributed audio level. Thanks for watching this video. Please check out the other videos in this channel. See you next.